makes you smile, doesn't it? There is nothing like opening day in Detroit. The energy, the passion for the city, the love for the game of baseball, and of course, the love for the Detroit Tigers. Today, Tigers open 2022 with a showdown against the defending Central Division champion, Chicago White Sox. Opening day is presented by FTX, the official crypto exchange of Major League Baseball. Hi, everyone. With the world champions, Kirk Gibson, Jack Morris, I'm Matt Shepard. Welcome. Glad you're with us. It's an honor. Opening day is special. I don't care how many you've been through or if it's your very first one, it is special. What's it mean to you guys, Gibby? Yeah, it's a great time. You go through street training. The Tigers have earned the right to be in the picture this year. If you come home to pageantry like we just saw, it's time to get it up. It is. And like I said, Shep, a lot of energy today. And opening day, all the state of Michigan is excited for what could be this summer a Tiger baseball team that could make that fabulous run to postseason baseball. And for good reason. Five new faces decorate today's opening day starting lineup, including some guys who should make an impact, Gibby. Well, they should. They really beefed up their offense. They also went defensively, but you got Spencer Torkelson, the number one pick, all projection, Javier Baez, 31 home runs last year, and Austin Meadows, they just acquired 27 home runs. Also defensively, uh, Baez should be way better up the middle. Good picks by Spencer Torgelson. The Tigers hope to be better with their battery as well, Jack. Yeah, we're going to see two new guys. Today's starting pitcher, Eduardo Rodriguez, making his Tiger debut and his uh, opening day start. So that'll be exciting. He's a strike thrower. He'll be throwing to Tucker Barnhart, a two-time Gold Glove winner. He's a great pitch framer. He's a great game caller. You got one guy throwing a lot of strikes. He's known to go deeper into the game, even though a short and spring training, we expect him to at least see the fifth and sixth inning, maybe. Every Tiger pitcher we talked to in spring training raved about Tucker Barnhart's communication and ability to block pitches. They greatly trust him. And Eduardo Rodriguez has always wanted to be an opening day starter. Today, he will be just that as the Tigers embark on 2022 on Valley Sports. 185 days since the Detroit Tigers stepped onto the field to play baseball. We are moments away from one of the most anticipated opening days in recent memory. The wait is over. Patience. Some say it's a virtue, but it doesn't come easy, and they don't teach it in schools. It requires a calm reserve, an undying passion, and faith. Plenty of faith. Deep fly ball. Right center field. That's got Terry gone. Number 500 in history for Miguel Cabrera. After a long period of doubt, our faith has been vindicated. And that unsure period is finally over. As a new dawn begins, we have a renewed appreciation for what they call a child's game. It's not just a game. It's a fulfillment. It's a nervous pastime, and it's not divisive that brings us together. Just as legends pick up their bats again, new stars shine on the horizon. We've all been very patient, but now it's time to play ball. Here we go, Tigers and White Sox 2022 is ready to get underway. A little cloudy, a little windy. Mother Nature has cooperated for the most part, and it will be a packed house at Comerica Park on this Friday afternoon, despite the 45-degree temperature. Here's the Chicago batting order, presented by your Metro Detroit Chevy dealers. Some new faces, not just for the Tigers, but for Chicago. A.J. Pollock came over in a trade recently with the Dodgers. Josh Harrison signs a free agent contract, plays second base. The former Tiger will bat seventh, and Jake Berger in at third base because the injury to Yoan Mancada. And Eduardo Rodriguez making his first opening day start. He's excited. He's making his Tiger debut here and uh, wearing the old English D, the white uniforms at home. It's going to be fun, folks. Settle in and let's enjoy it. Rodriguez described as a guy who wants to anchor a staff. Works quickly and is ready to go. And so are we. Glad you're with us. The first pitch of 2022 is a strike from Eduardo Rodriguez. From the mannequins in their 
bullpen. That is for Rodriguez. Loves to go underneath the hands. Opens up the outside pitches and the off-speed pitches. Prepares so well. As Jack mentioned, he's a strike thrower without question. The 0-2, the Pollock in the dirt. Blocked by Tucker Barnhart. We will say that an awful lot this year, guys. Top blocker in the league. You know, and he's not a big guy. And, uh, and there's a lot of pitchers that love throwing to a smaller frame catcher because that glove feels like it's the end of a pipe. It's just something that they can pick up easily at a target. Look at the good target he gives. Ooh. Just miss to make it even. It's a good purpose pitch, though, even though he didn't get the call. You stay in there, sometimes it takes a couple of innings to get that call, huh, Jack? It does. You work the umpire early to see what his perimeters are going to be. And then you show him by the third inning that you can consistently throw the ball where he's been calling her ball. He might open it up a little bit. Oh, come on. The payoff to Pollock. Got him looking. <laughs> That's how that works. Well, it's in the bottom of the zone here, and it actually crosses the plate in the zone. You saw where Barnhart actually caught the ball. Looked like it was low on our little camera there, but I'm sure the first that pitch crossed the front part of the plate. Three marginal calls right there. Tigers got the big one. They counted. 